Change your oil and filter in the transmission while it is warm. While the transmission is still warm, begin by safely raising and supporting the Macon. If you have a steel suspension, it's pretty straightforward. If you have PASM, air suspension, or a GTS, there are some special things you need to do to safely raise and support it. Please see our article and video on how to safely raise and support your Macon for additional assistance. Once the Macon is safely lifted and supported, you will need to remove the under engine panel. There are 15 T27 Torx screws, red arrow, and two large push-pull pins, yellow arrows. Use a T27 Torque and remove the screws. Use a trim removal tool and pull the plastic pin out from the base, red arrow, and then pull the base out from the panel, Leave on one of the center torque screws until the end to stop the panel from falling on you while you remove the push-pull pins. Once you have the panel off, it is a really good idea to give it a good cleaning. There are three areas of the PDK where you're going to be working. The fill port or hole, blue arrow, the drain plug, yellow arrow, and the filter housing, red arrow. The fill plug is right up beside the exhaust pipe on the left side. Always open the fill plug before the drain plug. If you open the drain plug and cannot get the fill plug open, you cannot drive the vehicle. Use a 10mm Allen and remove the drain plug, red arrow. Let all of the fluid drain. Inspect the plug for metal, install a new crush washer, and install the plug and torque to spec. Next, move to the filter housing. You are going to use a 17 millimeter wrench and unscrew the housing from the base, yellow arrow. There is a small locating tab on the base of the housing, blue arrow. This just assists in holding the housing in place. Pull the old filter out from its mount and inspect it for metal, red arrow. Install the new filter. One end will have a small O-ring on it to help seal it to the mount. Make sure this end goes in first, red arrow. Here is where I cannot recommend enough getting a good fluid pump. We use the Schwaben pump that both pumps and extracts. You're going to be under the Macon with it running to do the final fill on the transmission. Hot oil will be spilling out and you do not want to mess around with a cheap pump. The PDK holds five to five and a half quarts of fluid when full Put six quarts in your pump. Now comes the fun part. Fill the PDK until the fluid starts to leak out the fill hole, red arrow. Now you want to get in the Macon, start it up, and safely run it through all the gears. Once that is done, put it back in park and do not turn it off. The transmission needs its final fill at 40 degrees Celsius and running. The fill hole is in a tight fit to the exhaust, so watch yourself. Once the fluid starts to drain while the transmission is at temperature, it is full. The fluid is going to drain everywhere and there is not much you can do but just clean it up. Once it is full, shut the vehicle off and let it cool before trying to install the fill plug. Everything is going to be slick from oil and it's a really tight fit to get past the exhaust. Let everything cool before you start reaching up there. Reinstall the under panel and you are done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.